Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Today we have a battle of the pocket carry handguns. You know, summer months are here, especially in the northern states, and people are pocket carrying. It's probably not that big a deal down south, but we have lighter clothing and sometimes not a belt. People are pocket carrying. What we have here is a Ruger EC9S, and over here we have a CZP10M Micro. Both very small, they compare in price, they compare in size. So let's take a look at these and we will compare them with each other. Let's start with the EC9S. You can pick this up for under 300 bucks, right around 250 bucks. Now the MSRP is $350, but it really does offer a nice little handgun. It is completely snag free. Okay, once again, suited for pocket it shifts with one seven round mag but with that extension on the base plate you get three finger contact it has a magazine disconnect so with that mag not in there the trigger will not pull so you, you know you have you have to deal with that it has sights that are serrated black front and rear they are low profile and they are built right into the slide, so you can't change them out or anything like that. 3.1 inch barrel, a thumb safety. It's lightweight. It is a nice pocket carry gun. That's the feedback I get. People say, that's a great pocket carry gun. Now, let's take a look at the trigger. Oh, yeah, there's the integrated barrel bushing that mates with the slide. The trigger... Has a wall right there. You're looking at about five and a quarter pounds with a reset almost to full position. But a nice trigger right there. It does have the trigger tab in there as a safety. And to disassemble it, you have to remove the pin. All right, there. You take that gate and push it downward from the other side. Bring the slide back a little bit. Remove the pin. And it has a glass-filled nylon frame which is a form of polymer. But over here, we've got the CZP-10M. This also has an MSRP. Well, the MSRP is 350 bucks, but the street price is right around the same, 250. So right, 250 for either of these. I know people pocket carry this. This has a 3.2 inch barrel, very nice slide finish. This comes with two seven round magazines okay ruger gives you one cz gives you two it's not a single stack it's a double stack single feed seven round magazine two that are identical with with that inserted you get two finger contact on the handgun and it also has forward serrations and you have to remove that pin when disassembling the sights are more usable you have three dot sights this is very much built for pocket carry because it is snag free much like the ruger but it does not have a slide stop as where the ruger does have a slide stop so each have advantages and disadvantages we're going to compare them in a bit this also has a accessory rail right there a single slot accessory rail not seen on the Ruger. Nice grip texturing. Nice overall profile of the handgun. You know, the P10 series has grown, and this is the Micro. Now, the trigger, which this does not have a magazine disconnect, all right, but the trigger is heavy. It does have that trigger tab in there, and it is heavy. A heavy trigger pull. You're looking closer to seven pounds, all right? The reset is much shorter but the trigger itself is heavy. So if you like a, a short reset, you don't mind a heavy trigger, the P10M would be for you. If you like a lighter trigger, a little longer reset, then the EC9S would be for you. And if we compare them, we'll see that the CZ goes a little bit longer. So 3.2 inch barrel, 3.1 inch barrel, both nice pocket carry guns. The loaded weight with the P10M is 23.5 ounces and 21 ounces loaded with the EC9S. So this is a little bit lighter. What do I think? Well, I like the fact that CZ gives you two seven round mags as opposed to one seven round mag. That's a no brainer. That's a check mark for CZ. And CZ doesn't have a magazine disconnect as where 
the EC9S does. Another check mark for CZ. The trigger on the Ruger, it, I think, is better. It's a little bit lighter. The reset is a little bit longer, but I would choose that over a shorter reset and a heavier trigger. So I'm going to give that check mark to the EC9S. The slide, you know, forward serrations here, no forward serrations here. Okay, some people don't care about that. Thumb safety here, no thumb safety here. Okay, some people don't care about that. But when it comes to the sights, I have to give it to the CZ because they are usable sights, as where this is very hard to pick up at the range. And if you have a darker background and you don't have three dots or they're so low you can hardly pick up the serrated black you know I, I would just choose this and i like the slide finish a little better okay you can see it gloss a little bit more than the cz i think it would wear better in a holster but the main thing comes down to this shooting impressions which one shoots better in my hands after shooting these side by side without a video camera I have to tell you, I shot the EC9S better. I think it's that heavier trigger pull. I don't mind a heavy trigger. This one, it just bothered me with the 3.2 inch barrel. Being such a subcompact, lightweight gun, that one bothered me a little more. Now, it offers two mags, a rail. It doesn't have a slide stop, so you have to drop the mag to release the slide. Okay, that's a little bit of a disadvantage as where the Ruger... Okay, you have a, well, I just bumped my camera. But you get the point. Same price, approximately the same size, a little bit lighter here. Both seven rounds. If I had to choose one, I'm going with the one I shoot better, and that would be the Ruger EC9S. I still think this is a fine gun, and I do believe a lot of people would choose this one. I really want to know what you think. Do you think they're good prices, right around 250 each? Do you think... One's better than the other. If so, leave a comment, let me know, and I will check them out. And love to hear your thoughts as it is. And that applies with every video I produce. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.